Let's talk about middleware in Laravel. A middleware is simply a function or a piece of code that runs before a specific action in your application. For example, let's say a user is trying to visit this page to view all posts. In your application, you can decide that this is only being viewed by authenticated users. Now, to do that, you're going to have a piece of code that checks if the user is authenticated before actually displaying this page. That piece of code is called a middleware. So a middleware can help you so a middleware can help you permit specific actions in your application like you know creating a post. You can decide that post can only be created at noon or you know during the afternoon and you can have a middleware that checks the time of the day and then if the time of the day is not the afternoon then it's going to tell you you can create post at this time. Okay? So a middleware is simply a piece of code that you use to run before actions in your application. Let's take a look at the app HTTP middleware folder and let's look at some middleware that Lavo has. We have this check for maintenance mode middleware. This check for maintenance mode middleware is an inbuilt middleware that checks if the application is under maintenance before handling any requests. Let me show you an example. We are going to place the application under maintenance using PHP Addison command. So if you scroll right down, you're going to see a command that says down right here. And then there's also a command that says up. So put the application into maintenance mode is going to set it to maintenance mode. And this one is going to bring it back. So let's run add down. And it says application is in maintenance mode. And when we refresh the page, you can see it tells us the service is unavailable, which means this middleware is now acting. So what this middleware does is before it handles any request, it goes ahead and checks if the application is in maintenance mode. And if it's in maintenance mode, then it's going to prevent the user from visiting that page or using that specific action. Okay. So like right now you can see we can't access it. But if we go back to active mode, the application is now live and we can visit that page. That's an example of a really helpful middleware. Another middleware we have is redirect if authenticated. This middleware helps us to redirect a user from a page if the user is already authenticated. For example, right now I am logged in as Cathy France. It doesn't make sense for me to visit the login page. You can see if I try to visit the login, it automatically redirects me to the home page. And that's the use of the redirect if authenticated middleware. If the user is logged in, redirect the user to the home page. As easy as that. If the user is not logged in, then it simply says next, which means go ahead to the next part of the application, which means go to the controller. For example, okay? There's also trim strings and what this does is that it goes through all the data coming to the server and then it trims out the empty strings or empty spaces. We have verify CSRF token which verifies the CSRF token like we've seen in our application. Now we're also going to be creating our own custom middleware and we're also going to be applying some custom middleware too. Right now let me log out and if I visit the post create route you can see that I see the form for creating a post. But only authenticated users should be able to create posts. So how do we apply a middleware to this route? There are a lot of ways and we're just going to see one of them. So I'm just going to come to the web.php where we have our routes registered and I'm going to chain a middleware function here and I'll call it auth. So if I refresh right now, you can see I'm redirected to the login screen. And since this is a resource route, all of the routes under the post controller or for this resource are automatically protected. If I try to visit post slash one slash edit, I'm still redirected to the login screen, which means I must be authenticated before visiting that route. Awesome. As simple as that. The auth middleware is a default middleware that comes inbuilt with Lavo. That's why we can use it. Okay. Now, what if we wanted to make sure that categories exist in the application before creating posts? Let me show you. I'm just going to log in real quick right now and then I'm just going to try to create a post because right now you can see there's no categories. If I try to create a post, you can see that there's no items right there and this doesn't make sense. We want to make sure that if the user is trying to create a post, there must be some categories before the user can create the post. So how do we handle this? We are going to handle this using a custom middleware. So let's go ahead and create a middleware. So we're going to say add make middleware. That's the command for creating a middleware. 
and the name of our middleware is going to be verify categories count you can give it whatever name but in this case we're trying to name it so that it's as closest to what it's going to do as possible so this middleware is going to be used to verify the count or the number of categories we have in the database so how do we create our middleware we just have this one handle function and we call the next function if we want to permit the user to continue using the application and if we don't want the user to continue we can throw an exception redirect the user or anything like that so let's get started the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get all the categories so we're gonna say category and I'm just gonna use that model at the top like that and then I'm just gonna say all and count is equal to zero so what I'm doing here is if the category count if all of the categories in the database is equal to zero then I'm going to return redirect of the user back just like that that's all my middleware does and in case the category count is more than zero or is not equal to zero then next is going to be called which means proceed but now we haven't registered this middleware so we have to come to our kernel.php which is like the controller of all http requests and we have to register a new middleware if you can see right here the auth middleware is registered in the route middleware right here and that's why we can use it in our web.php and the auth middleware is automatically registered by Laravel. okay so you can see right here we have the auth and we can use it like this so here we're gonna add our own middleware i'm gonna call it verify category count and i'm gonna say this should be the verify categories count class but i need to import that class right so here i'm just gonna use app http middleware verify categories count okay just gonna make sure that i have the right thing awesome we have it so this is a middleware that we created I'm just gonna call that categories awesome so now how do we apply this middleware to the post so because at the moment since this is a route resource we can't apply it to only the create so the way we can apply it to only the create is in the post controller okay because it's a route resource if we change the middleware here it's gonna protect all the routes let me show you so I'm just gonna pass an array to the middleware function and I'll pass auth and I'll pass in verify categories count and if I try to visit this page you can see that it redirected me back to the post and then it told me redirected too many times because when I also try to visit the post it also redirects okay so just to demonstrate this I'm gonna change this to home so instead of redirect back I'm just gonna redirect home so if I try to visit the post right now since I do not have any categories I'm gonna be redirected back to the home page if I try to visit categories it works fine but if I try to visit post I'm redirected back home awesome that's our middleware working but I'm just gonna leave it as back and then instead of registering the verify categories count middleware here I'm going to come to my post controller and I'm going to create a constructor so public function construct and here we can register middleware using a function called middleware and in here we can pass in the name of the middleware and then we can call an only method and say this should only be applied on create and store okay so let's try this now if i visit post great you can see i can visit the post but if i try to add a post you see i'm redirected back to this page i'm redirected back to this page and if i was trying to make a post request also then it's also going to prevent me because you can see i have applied the verify categories count middleware only on the create and the store route how cool is that so there are two ways that you can apply middleware you can see we have the constructor of the controller and we also have the routes file okay so now that we have that middleware maybe something we want to do is also flash to the session so that we can show a message to the user so session flash and in this case i'm just gonna call it an error session and it's just gonna say you need to add categories to be able to create a post okay 
And since the user needs to add categories, why don't we redirect the user to the page to add categories instead? So I'm just going to say route categories dot create. Okay. So now if I come back, refresh, click on this, you can see we are redirected to this page, but we need to handle the flash messaging for the error case. So to handle that, we're going to go to our layouts file, which is the app.blade.php. And I'll just scroll right down to here. You can see here we handle for success. I'm just going to handle for error. So if has error key, just like we flashed right here, this is going to be alert error and session get error. And if I refresh, that's fine. But let's go back to the post, click on add category. You can see we have our message right here, but the styling doesn't show up. And that's because this should be alert danger. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Click on add post. Great. That's a beautiful error message right there. All right. Awesome. This looks like it works as expected. Now, one final thing before I end the lesson. I want to teach you about route groups because right now we are applying the middleware auth to this route. And what if we want to also secure this route? Definitely, we want to secure all of these routes right here to be accessible only by authenticated users that have the right to create content on our website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a route group to group all my functions together. And I'm going to create a function, just a function right here. I'll cut all of my routes and place them in there. And I'm just going to make sure I remove the middleware auth right here. And before I call the group function, I'm going to call a middleware function. And this is going to receive the auth middleware. So I'm saying all the routes in this group should be protected by the auth middleware and make sure you actually call the middleware function before the group function like that. And then if we try to refresh this page right now, since I'm locked in, there's no difference. But if I log out, try to visit the post create page, you can see I'm redirected back to login. Okay. So I'm just going to log in real quick. Great. So everything works as expected. All right, guys. So that's been a long ride. I hope you learned a lot about middleware and I hope you can create your own custom middleware at the moment. Thank you so much and see you in the next lesson.